so my name is David McKeown. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about drag. And I wrote this before I knew Shirley Temple Bar <laughs> was going to be on before me. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so that's, a, that's a cat and drag. So it's going to be a story about cats. I uh, hope you like cats. So to say there's two different types of people, those who like cats and those that hate cats. Uh, if you like cats, I think you'll like this story because there's cats in it. Uh, if you don't like cats, I hope you like the story because there's cats in it, falling off buildings, getting injured, and ending up in hospital. So, uh, the story comes uh, from a journal paper. It was written in uh, 1987 in the American Veterinary Medical Association's journal. And it looked at cats falling off buildings. And it measured two things. Uh, <laughs> the first thing it measured is what floor it fell off. And then the second thing was how badly injured it was. Uh, and they had this for 34 floors and 132 cats. And when they looked at the results, they found some strange things. So for the first few floors, it was normal. So it was worse to fall off the second floor than the first floor, the third floor than the second floor, all the way up to the sixth floor. The sixth floor was the worst fo floor to fall off. After the sixth floor, it got better. Okay, so it was better to fall off the seventh floor, or the eighth floor, or the 34th floor than it was to fall off the sixth floor. So, what's happening? Okay, so we can think about what happens when you fall. So when you fall, gravity acts on you, okay? So gravity is not just a little push, it's a very long gif. Gravity is not just a little push. Uh, gravity is a, a driving force, making you go faster and faster and faster and faster towards center, faster, faster, faster splat. And, uh, and that's what happens, okay? So that would happen unless uh, something called drag uh, happens, okay? So drag is a force that slows you down. So drag or air resistance and drag ups, uh, acts in the, in the opposite direction. Uh, and the amount of drag you get is proportional to your velocity, or your, it's actually your velocity squared. So the faster you're falling, the bigger this thing starts pushing back up against you. So it slows you down. So if you fall for long enough, you'll get to a point where the force of gravity driving you down will be equal to the force pushing you back up. And at that stage, you stop accelerating. You still keep moving, but you stop accelerating. And this is called your terminal velocity. Okay, so in the last diagram, it looks like the cat was going to get crushed. But really what happens is that they just cancel. And there's no forces acting on the cat. And this is what happened to our cats. So they were falling, and then all of a sudden, there's no force acting on them, and they relax. Just calm, chill out. <laughs> they spread out a bit, which increases their drag. And then they get more relaxed, and when they hit the ground, they weren't getting as badly injured. And it takes a while to get, reach your terminal velocity, about seven floors of a building. OK. So when I said I read this paper, I mean in the traditional way of reading the introduction and the conclusion. So I don't know if the cats were pushed or if they fell. <laughs> But obviously, if they were pushed with a constant force, that's a more controlled experiment, but obviously a more interesting ethics board uh, application. OK. So what I do know is I want to tell you a few more things about drag. And one way is to ask the question on half of your lips is, what if we were trying to kill the cat? OK. <laughs> so big cat versus little cat. Mass has nothing to do with how fast you fall. Different weights, boats uh, fall the same speed, except different areas. If you have a wider area, you have more drag, so the fat cat will have more drag, lower terminal velocity, hit the ground, slower, the kitten, not so much. Uh, shape, overall shape is important as well. These are drag coefficients, you work these out experimentally, so different shapes uh, have different drag. Uh, a cat is, I think it's somewhere about 0.6. Uh, so if we wanted our cat to hit the ground faster, uh, we could wrap it in a, in a kind of cocoon, like, a, like an airplane wing. Uh, uh, and then that would, so it's 0.6, but with the cocoon it's 0 0.04, so it would hit the ground about 15 times faster. Uh, so also, uh, <laughs> also uh, what you fall through is important, the density. So a, a cat would fall uh, slower through honey than it would through water, and, f uh, and slower through uh, water than it would through air. And uh, obviously density, so on Earth, if you go high enough, the air gets less dense, so a space would be a good place to, uh, <laughs> to drop a cat. And there's a kind of a, a balance between, you don't want to go too far because gravity gets weaker. There's probably a, a calculation for the optimum, uh, optimum point that you can, that you can get to. Uh, uh, finally, uh, uh, smoother surfaces uh, tend to less drag, they fly through. If there was ever a, a project that deserved research funding, uh, I think, I think it might be this one. Uh, that, that top guy's gonna—he's just gonna fly. Uh, okay. Well, I hope you learned a bit about drag. That, that's me. Thank you very much.